My, my job's weird. One of the most interesting gadgets that has shown up here at CES is Withings U-Scan. Now, this is a urine analyzer from the French health tech company, and it promises to do to urine and urine analysis what it's been doing to smartwatches and weighing scales for the past few years. And we're here at a suite in a Las Vegas hotel, and I'm going to be one of the first people to um, test it. Now, U-Scan is a urine analysis device, and inside this clamshell body is a series of microfluidic assays. Now, how it works is that this hangs a little bit like an air freshener on the front of your toilet, and then when you feel the need to go, you will do your business on the front. The liquid will fall down the front of the lid, and at the bottom here, is a little inlet. When it detects the presence of fluid, the inlet will open and draw in a small sample, which it will then run through one of uh, any number of sort of reaction paper assays. This will then uh, be run in front of an infrared scanner, and then uh, the conclusions that it draws will be sent over via um, Wi-Fi, I believe, to the uh, Withings HealthMate app, where it will then offer you conclusions about, well, any number of things. Now, in this example, the company is showing off its NutriBalance cartridge. Now, this is one of two uh, that it's planning to launch uh, at some point this year, the other one being for menstruation cycle tracking. This one uh, is designed specifically to look at the specific gravity of your urine and also the pH of your uh, urine. And from there, uh, its designers say uh, that it will be able to make certain conclusions or draw certain conclusions about the acidity of your diet, whether you're eating uh, a meat-heavy diet, obviously if it's more sort of pH neutral or alkaline, then you're eating uh, a more vegetable-heavy diet. And then in terms of the specific gravity, it will be able to talk about your hydration levels and whether you're drinking enough water uh, throughout the day. Interestingly enough, it turns out I'm going to be the first person outside of Withings to try it. And interestingly enough, uh, everyone who uses it will need to sit down in order to try it out. And this will be the case for uh, end users as well. You will need to sit down to pee on the device. Now, you'll have to excuse me. I'm gonna go test it, and then in a few minutes, I will have uh, the information emailed to me, and we can have a look at its conclusions. Right, um, I'll leave this here, and uh, you're not following. Right, so uh, I've just come back and I have uh, my results in my hand. One of the things the company um, did want to make clear, as it is at this point effectively a prototype, and certainly with regulators watching, it doesn't want to make any claims about its efficacy at this point. And you know, if you are working for the FDA, then uh, I've been asked to say that this is a theatrical performance and not an actual demonstration of any medical technology that's going on. And in, in regards to that, U-Scan will come to Europe first uh, because it will need to go through the FDA sausage machine and it may not come to the US for anything up to a year. So I'm looking at this for the first time and it's telling me that the pH of my urine uh, as it stands right now is 6.5, so it's slightly uh, acidic. It then adds that if the diet that you have, if you're eating uh, too much acidic food, or it says basic, which I assume means if you're not eating a, a wide enough range of vegetables and fish and all the other things that you really can't get in Las Vegas, because, I mean, I've been surviving on potato chips for the last four days. It may cause my body to compensate by producing neutralizing substances. So it might make me less than perfectly healthy as if you know, that was a risk I was ever at. Uh, and in terms of my water balance, it says that the specific gravity of my urine is 1020. And according to this, I'm sort of in the middle, I think. Yeah, I have optimal water balance. I hope my mother's proud. Now, of course, we can't really draw any proper conclusions because this is just a first test. And fundamentally, it's going to take time before we can review this thing and really 
put it through its paces. But if you'd like to learn more about this, you can check out a very good story written by me at Engadget.com. And if you'd like to check out all of the other really cool things that have come out at CES 2023, you should also go to Engadget.com. And please don't forget to like and subscribe this video. I mean, I mean, I'm not going to say we're going to make more of this type of video. It's not only fans, but we'll, it'll be interesting science and technology and cultured news and stuff like that. But please like and subscribe. Even if you hated it, like and subscribe for me. I just peed for you. I just peed in front of like four, five. They were all waiting outside. Please, please.